Nvidia is desperate to become number one when it comes to the coveted spot of the best large language model out there. Nvidia has just released this Nvidia Vision language model family of open source multimodal large language model. In this family, the flagship model, which is this NVLM D72 billion, its performance is equivalent with GPT-4 and Claude 3.5 across many vision and language task specific benchmarks. In this video, I am going to introduce you to this quite impressive model, I would say, but huge and humongous model. I tried to get it installed on my H100 GPU with 80 GB of VRAM courtesy master compute, but I was unable to do so because it was erroring out even when it was halfway through loading onto the GPU. So unfortunately, I won't be able to show you the bench marking of uh, with hands-on prompts in this video, but I will do the second best. I will try to explain it in as simple words as possible about its architecture. I will also show you some of the examples of its text and vision language prompts, which I got from their report. And I will also drop the link to it in video description. So stay tuned. So what exactly this model is? This model uses a hybrid architecture combining various multimodal processing techniques. This approach enables effective handling of visual and textual inputs, including meme interpretation, image analysis, and step-by-step -step math problem solving. Shortly, I will also show you the code which you can use to do the inference if you have access to uh, VRAM of around maybe 250 GB or 300 GB. Yes, it would require at least that much. This model achieves state-of-the-art results on benchmarks and let me quickly take you there. So these are the benchmarks on the left hand side and look at the performance of NVLM in the second column. It has beaten a lot of top-notch model. Look at the OCR benchmark because it's a vision model, multimedia model. So its score is 853 whereas even GPT-4 vision is way way far behind. So this is totally mind-blowing i would say also for visual question answering just the second last one again its score is very impressive and it the good thing is that it has beaten all of the rest of the lot by a wide margin even this is just 72 billion parameter model whereas llama 3 vision and this is 3.1 by the way not the 3.2 405 billion one still it was beaten by this nvlm so that is quite interesting Gemini is also far behind. Claude's model are a bit far behind, but they have won when it comes to document visual question answering and chart question answering, which is impressive because deciphering the charts is not easy. And still Claude 3.5 Sonnet from Anthropic, they are still at the top of the charts. Also this NVLM model, it has um, quite a, I would say, good performance after multimodal training when it comes to text only and also on math and coding it is equivalent to llama 3.1 405 billion as you can see here it is not allowed for commercial usage by so by the way only for uh, learning education purpose and it comes under creative common attribution non-commercial license which is not really good i think given nvidia's stature they should just make it free and open source anyway so these are few of the examples as you can see here but before i go into that another cool thing about this is that um, a notable feature of this is that it's enhanced text only performance post multimodal training as model increased accuracy by an average of 4.3 points across text benchmarks outperforming its original language model backbone which is quite interesting so uh, if you look here, for example, this is quite interesting. This is a qualitative study. You can see that this demonstrates good instruction following capabilities um, based on the instruction. It appropriately controls the target generation length. It also generates a very high quality detailed description of the provided image and you can talk with it as you can see on the right hand side. There are a few other examples. For example, look at this one. Let me make it bigger. There you go. So you see again, sorry, not this one. Okay, yeah, much better. So you see, even especially you look at um, 
D side in the D1 it has just read that text and created the pseudo code on the left hand side you know we also check this one out I think Nvidia you took it from my videos anyway um, no problem I'm you know my licensing is very fair I use it for commercial use I don't care so and then on the right hand side another one this one is quite good but I think Claude uh, Sonnet is much better on these sort of things but anyway so pretty impressive sort of thing and then another thing is on this one let me make it smaller there you go now this one is quite interesting as you can see as um, this is demonstrating versatile capabilities in various multimodal ta tasks by jointly utilizing OCR reasoning localization common sense world knowledge and coding ability so for, for, for example this model can also understand humor behind the abstract versus paper meme in example by performing OCR to recognize a text label and then it does the reasoning to grasp why juxtaposing the abstract label uh, you know whatever the abstract hidden latent humor is it can go and check it out which is quite interesting so all in all i would say pretty impressive model also they have this paper behind it which you can read through it is a good read uh, no doubt about that i have read a bit of an abstract in the intro looks fairly interesting so let me show you the code quickly bear with me i will move on to my vs code and i actually tried to put it on my uh, other stuff too but it was I mean the multi GPU but it was not working so anyway I can at least show you the code so if you have multi GPU you can run it so first up log into your local system install these libraries uh, once you have installed import them as usual and then you need to split the model uh, so that this is for multi GPU so we are splitting the model since the first GPU will be used for bit treat it as a half a GPU so this code has been provided by uh, nvidia where they're splitting the layers and then mapping the devices and putting it on there and you can run it on single gpu if you have the space but i think this is more suited for a cluster of gpus and then it is just building the transformation around lambdas and tensors and then it is uh, because it's an image so it is setting the aspect ratio with different width height and dimensions and then it is pre-processing it so it is calculating the existing image aspect ratio closest aspect ratio and all that stuff it is processing the image with different dimensions creating the thumbnail loading the image specifying the model some of the parameters doesn't use this flash attention which is quite interesting and then mapping it to your gpu and this is where it is using tokenizer doing some of the prompting and then giving the response back and you can also get this code from um, their website and Hucky Quest card and I will also drop the link to it in video's description so all in all impressive model but unfortunately like all of these humongous models unable to run it locally even with 80 GB of VRAM but try it out if you have it if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and before i go allow me to introduce you to the sponsors of this video which are agent ql agent ql is a query language that turns any web page into a data source with its python sdk and live debugging tool you can scrape and interact with web content Agent QL works on any page, whether it is public or private, any site, any URL, even behind authentication. It is quite resilient, page structure changes, but Agent QL still returns the same result. Also, it is quite re reusable, which means that the same query works across multiple similar pages, plus it structures output accordingly to the shape of your query. So check it out. I will drop the link to it in video description. As I said, I would really appreciate if you could subscribe to the channel and if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching